So let's say that I want to plot the line y equals 2x. So I know that that's going to go through my origin. Okay, at 5, we're going to be up at 10 here. And at negative 5, we'll be down here at negative 10. And then I can get a ruler out and I can connect these dots. So we'll bring a ruler out over to here and I can connect these dots here and we get roughly um, what the y equals 2x line looks like. Okay, now let's say that I want to draw a line which is parallel to y equals 2x. Remember parallel lines are those which run alongside each other keeping the same distance apart, okay, but they never meet. So for example, this line here would be parallel. So we could get, oh, I'll just pop that ruler in. That line there would be a parallel line or maybe this line down here, okay, would be a parallel line. In fact, I could draw as many parallel lines as I wanted to. The key property of interest to us, why these um, lines are all parallel, is because they have the same gradient. Okay, so you notice how I didn't have to change the angle of my ruler, I just lifted it up and down the page. So line number one, line number two, and line number three here, okay, they all have the same gradient. And in this case, the gradient is two, okay, because it's y equals two x. So this equation here would be y equals 2x plus 5, because we now uh, got a y-intercept of 5. And this one here would be y equals 2x minus 10, because we've got a y-intercept of minus 10 now. But all of the gradients are the same. So let's say that I want to find the equation of the linear line, which firstly, it runs parallel to my y equals 2x. Okay, but it goes through the point, uh, and the point that I want it to go through might be 4 comma 3. Okay, so it has to run parallel to y equals 2x. So I have to have my ruler at the same angle sort of thing. It has to be one of these lines, but it has to go through the point, 4 comma 3. So if I find 4 comma 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 up, it needs to go through here. So the line of interest, if I get my ruler back out, is going to be, oh, come back here, has to be this line here. Okay, so that one. So how can I find the equation of that algebraically? Well, I know that the general equation for a linear line is y equals mx plus c. So we're looking for the equation of this yellow one here. But I know what the gradient is. Because it's parallel to y equals 2x, it has to have a gradient of 2. All parallel lines have to share the same gradient. So all that's left for me to do now is find my C value. Now looking on the graph, I should hope that when I do the algebra, I get a C value of negative five. But let's check. I use this point of information here and I can pop that point into uh, my new equation. So I get that three needs to be two lots of four plus C. So three is equal to eight plus C. So C yeah, it has to be negative five, okay? Which is what I saw um, when I drew that yellow line in. So I get that the equation of this yellow line here has a gradient of two and a y-intercept of negative five. Okay, so hopefully uh, that helps understand parallel lines, the idea that um, the uh, gradients have to be the same, and then how we can use uh, an extra piece of information, like what point it has to go through, will dictate how high or low I want my line to sit. Let's do one more example. So let's say that I want uh, to find the equation of a line, which firstly, it has to run parallel to y equals 3x plus 1. Okay, and it has to go through the point, um, and we might go through the point 2 comma 13. Okay, so I know that the equation of any linear line has to be y equals mx plus c. And if it's going to be parallel to y equals 3x plus 1, then it has to share the same gradient. And the gradient of this line is 3. So we have to have the same gradient. We know that for it to be parallel. The only other thing I've got to think about now is how high, up or down, do I want my um, line to be? If you think about what we did up here, do I want it to be line number 1? Do I want it to be line number two, line number three? No, we wanted it to be line number four. We needed it to be the yellow one. So it has to go through this point here. It has to go through two comma 13. So I can work out how high my plus C needs to be by substituting that point into my new equation. So my Y is 13, my X is two, 
and I can solve for C now. So 13 is equal to six plus C, so C would have to be seven. So I get that the equation of the line, which is parallel uh, to Y equals three X plus one, and it goes through that point there, has to be Y equals three X plus seven. So that's how we can find the equation of parallel lines.